panic or patience with the Giants in particular? They're, they're hitting right now. It's statistically in the – no matter what stat you run, <laughs> no matter how you parse it up, it's about 21 in the major leagues um, in hitting. And they have a roster Thanks. in case – in case you missed my Nostradamus show, I'm all in on the Giants this year. But You're beyond all in. You have the you have the Cy Young and the MVP and the World World Series Championship all going to the Giants. That's right. Everything is Rookie of the up. Year? Giants. Luckily, yeah, Rookie of the Year too. Luckily, it's still April. So I'm going to preach patience. There's been some signs of life coming out of the Giants hitters. Ho hair ho. I think the beer's getting to me. So Lair has, yeah. has gotten a home run. Chapman had two home runs in a game. They scored seven runs last night. Things are starting to come around. And I, I think by the time we roll into mid-May and Blake Snell is able to actually pitch a normal amount of innings because of limitations right now. Um, and Russ Yeah, he, start, he made his first start, didn't he? Like Yeah. Last night, three innings. Uh, a couple nights ago, yeah, it was only uh, it was only three innings. Part of it was pitch count. It took him a lot to get through that. Ump was a little stingy, but whatever. You know, I didn't expect him to go out and and have some lights out performance, especially since he didn't have a normal spring training. So, I think as the season continues on, uh, the Giants are going to start getting some momentum. The only thing that was, you know, really frustrating to watch is unfortunately they had to play the Dodgers right off the bat and and that series did not go well and um it was really frustrating to to watch, but I'm confident currently at 5 and 8 that they will turn this thing around. To your point, the Dodgers lost 2 out of 3 to the Cubs. They are on paper by far the superior organization. You're welcome. And I didn't thank you. You didn't play in the game. And uh, so I think it's going to work out fine for them this year. So I'm uh, sticking with patience. But yeah, I, I, one of the surprising highlights, and this kind of falls under the the mystery of similar to Garrett Crochet. And, and this guy has been a reliever and he hasn't pitched that much. He's been in, injury prone. Well, the Giants are doing the same thing with Jordan Hicks. Let me give you Jordan Hicks numbers. He's 2 and 0 with a 1 ERA over 3 starts, 18 innings pitched, 13 strikeouts and a .833 whip. This guy nice. this guy is has been a reliever most of his career. He's coming off an injury just like Crochet and he's been pitching lights out. So again, you know, this goes back is he going to be is he going to be in the same boat as Crochet, but they know they have Robbie Ray coming back? at the midpoint of the season. So, yeah. so they don't have to worry about what they're doing with Jordan Hicks right now. And they can have him move into more like a, a lower starting role and maybe skip some starts and, and still have them throughout the year. But, you know, it's kind of crazy, uh, like drawing comparisons to the two main teams I foul have uh, two pitchers in the same exact situation with very similar yeah. numbers that you throw caution to the wind that they've, at, they already have 18 innings over three starts where you thought it should be more around the range of 12 to maybe 15 at the max. You know what I mean? So, mm. but you know, you, I guess you're riding riding the hot hand, and Jordan Hicks has has been. It looks like the Giants made the right move, so uh, hopefully they can build up his arm strength and 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 things will work out there. I think but, your Robbie Ray theory makes makes the most sense. He's he's coming into the second half of the season, hopefully, yeah. uh, to fill in that role. That 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 is a plausible plan. Like to if you know you're gonna if you're gonna try to get the most out of Hicks, like then you can know that that i mean former Cy Young award winner is coming into your rotation after that that's a plausible plan white Sox are doing i'm scratching my head still but <laughs> yeah, right. well that's true of course you're in a contending window where you know the, the white Sox are not yeah. so that that might be another difference but yeah i think that i think that makes some sense yeah 
Yeah, it'll be a it'll be a, a rotation full of former Cy Young winners. So hopefully they live up to the bill. Word Hole Media.